On this Sudoku Primer channel, we solve puzzles without candidates. Almost every video on this channel is done without marking. Today we will find a hard-to-find set of quadruplets that will help us solve this puzzle. I'm also going to talk about number sets. But before, I wanted to mention you can print this puzzle and fill it in as you watch. Click the link in the description below or go to sudokuprimer.com menu item print YouTube puzzles before you watch. Well before we get started on the puzzle and start solving, let me talk about what I mean by number sets. We're familiar with twins and triplets. We find them all the time in puzzles. We can also find other sets of numbers from two to nine numbers per set. I call these twins, triplets, quadruplets, quintuplets, sextuplets, septuplets, octuplets, and non-uplets. Now, you know, when you get up here, they're not very useful. In fact, here is a set of non-uplets right here. And there's another set of non-uplets on this in this puzzle. Can you see it? It's in row five. There are nine numbers here uh, possible in uh, these nine cells. So to find these sets of numbers, you just need to find x numbers in x cells. So x numbers that can only fit into x cells. So when you find twins, you have two numbers that only fit in two cells, either in a row, column, or box. Triplets, same thing. Quadruplets is four, and so on. I think you get the picture. And I'll give you an example later of, of finding x numbers in x cells. Well, let's solve this. There are only three easy numbers in this puzzle at first, so we get into trouble very quickly. And quadruplets save the day, but they're not too easy to spot in this puzzle. And I hope I can give you an example and give you examples of how you can find uh, number sets easier. All right, let's find those three easy numbers. One, one, one. 6, 6, and 2, 2, 2, so that's a 2 there, and we're already in trouble. It's, it's, if you look through this puzzle now, do a, um, cross hatching and things like that, I doubt you'll find any numbers. So let's look at um, this column here, and let me give you an example of um, a number sets. We've got, what are we missing? One, three, four, seven, nine. One, three, four, seven, and nine. So this is a set of quintuplets, right? And as I said, as you get into these bigger numbers, you, you know, the number sets don't help much. But let's see if we can narrow this down into smaller number sets. Well, we've got a 4 and a 7 here and a 4 and a 7 here. So that means 4 and 7 can't fit there, there, or there. So these are 4, 7 twins. Because these are two numbers, 4 and 7, that can only fit in these two cells. So what does that leave? 1, 3, and 9. So there's a 1, 3 there with that 9. 1, 3, 9. And here's a 1, so that's 3, 9. So here's three numbers that can only fit in three cells, 1, 3, and 9. Okay, so there's a couple of examples of number sets, twins, and triplets. Now I'm going to um, mention, uh, show you where the quadruplets are 
in this puzzle. If you'd like to pause the video and see if you can find them, go ahead and pause it now. I'm going to show you where it is. If you look at box one, let's see what we're missing. One, three, four, five, seven, nine. So a set of sextuplets, which can't, don't help us much. But let's see if we can narrow it down. Here's a three and a three. So one of these is a three. Here's a five and a seven. There's a five there too. So we have five, seven. So let's see what we've got so far. Three, five, seven, nine. And here's a one and a four. So one, four. But there's one key piece of information here. We've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so we have ghost 9s there. So this set of quadruplets here consists of the numbers 3, 5, 7, and 9. Ghost 9s, nine, 9. So 9. So 3, 5, 7, 9. Four numbers, 3, 5, 7, and 9, that only fit in these four cells. So there's a set of quadruplets, and that leaves one and four here, a set of twins. All right, so now remember these twins we found here, the four seven twins, these are one three nine triplets. That has to be a seven because we have one four twins here. So we know that's a seven and that's a four because of these one four twins we found. So I hope that helps you understand how you can find find these number sets as you as you solve puzzles. Okay, so let's see. Now we've got a four there, four there, so that's a four. All right, we've also got a four right here. Can you see that? That one's harder to see. We use double row elimination to find that one. One four twins there. Four, one of these is a four. So we have row one and row two with box one and box three already covered for four. So one of these has to be a four in box two. And there's a four there already. That's how I got that four right there. We also know that, um, remember these were three nine, three nine. With that seven in place, now we've only got three and nine, two numbers that can only fit in these two cells. So these are three and nine, that's one and four, one and four there, so that's a five. And now we've got a seven here and a seven here, so that's a seven. Now we're only missing one, two, and five in box two. There's a two and five there, so that's a one. There's a two right there, so that's a two, and that's a five. All right, and then with the um, one there, we can solve the four one twins that we found a minute ago. There, and now we've got four and five left in this, in row two. With that four, we can solve them. Here's a loner cell right here. What would that be? Well, let's see. 4, 2, 5, 4, 2, 5, 1, 3, 8. 3 and 8, so that's a 1. You see how I scanned this row to find that 1 there, that loner cell? That's a quick way to find a number when you're searching for numbers. Now we've got 6, 7, and 9 here. We've only got a 6 and a 9 there, so no other 6 or 7s or 9s here. So we can't solve those yet. All right, let's look at column six right here. Let's see what we're missing. Two, three, and nine. Here's a two and a three, so that's a nine right there. There's a two, so that has to be three and a two like that. Okay. Now we've got another loner cell here with this row. Let's see, we're missing one, two, or we've got one, two, and six here. We've got a one and six there, so that's got to be a two. 
Okay, now we've got 1, 7, and 8 here. I know that's a 1. How did I get that? And I'll show you that in a minute. 7 goes there, and 8. Remember our friend uh, double row elimination? Well, we've got 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1. So box 4 and box 6 have 1s here, and there's a 1 there, so that has to be the 1 there. With these ones and these one, or these cells and these cells potentially holding a one, the only place for a one in box five is here or here, and there's a one there already. That's how I got the one, seven, and eight. And now we've got a seven right there. We're missing eight and nine here. Only two numbers in this box. Let's see what we're missing here. We're missing three, four, and five there. Okay, there's a three and a five, so we can put the four in. Okay. Um, so we can't solve the three and five yet. Let's see what we're missing in row six here. Seven and eight. Well, we've got a seven there. And seven there, so that's an eight, and that's a seven. All right, and with this six and seven, you remember our six, seven, nine triplets here? Six and seven, that gives us a nine there. And now I've got a, I know this is a six right here. Now, how did I know that? Well, let's look at this for a minute. We've got a 7 and 7 there, so one of these is a 7. We've got a 6 here and a 6 here, so one of these is a 6. But with these 6, 7 twins here in box 3, we know these can't, one of these has to be a 7, so neither of these can be a 6. So we've got 6 and 7 there and 7 there. So using unique rectangles, we know that neither of these can be a 6. So the 6 has to be here. So we have go 6s there, 6, and that makes that a 6. All right, and now let's look at column 8 here. Let's see what we're missing. 4, 8. 4 and 8. There's a 4 there. So that's an 8, and that's a 4. And now let's look at row seven here. We're missing three, seven, nine. Three, seven, and nine. Here's a three and a seven. So that's a nine. There's a three there, so seven and three. And that makes that an eight. Remember our eight, nine twins right there. And then that makes that, this a nine right there. Okay, let's look at column two here. We're missing one, three, nine. One, three, and nine. Here, here we've got a one, and ghost nine's there. Actually, we can fill those in. There's a nine there, so that's a nine and a six. So that makes one and nine there, so that's a three. That makes these one and nine. There's a nine there, so we can fill those in. All right, and with this 9, we can fill in our 3 and 9 there. All right, now in row 4, we're missing 3, 5, 3 and 5. There's a 3, so that's a 5, and that's a 3. We'll fill in our 5 there, the only number left in that box. All right, now we're missing two and three there. With that three, we can fill them in. What were we missing here? We're missing two and eight here. Two, two and eight. There's a two there. All right, and remember our six and seven there. With that seven, we can solve them. And we've got... Uh, One, one and eight there, that eight there, that's a one and that's an eight.
and we solved it. All right. Well, quadruplets are pretty useful if you can find them. But sets, number sets over three are sometimes hard to find, as you could see with this quadruplets that we found here. We did have quadruplets there, but they were pretty tricky. They didn't, uh, they weren't out in the open. We had to look for them. So um, look for number sets, twins and triplets. You probably find them quite often, but look for bigger sets, like especially quadruplets and quintuplets, because they can help you um, quite a bit as was shown in this puzzle with the one and four twins that we found right there. Well, I hope this helps you find number sets more easily, especially triplets and quadruplets. Well, take care. I'll see you next time.